hey what's up how you doing welcome to the next tutorial on the php course i was you know, actually creating so basically this is the second part of the php course as you can see if you know this you yeah, are watching this part if you haven't, you haven't watched the course so please just go back to the link in the description or you can just check my videos which is in the recent uploaded uploaded section all right so the last section we all we did was treated the basics of php from arrays condition function in there that is the hello world the loops the switch statements and the variables now so in this next session you are going to be building a to-do list app using php and bootstrap all right yeah so we'll be using bootstrap for our front end or using php for the backing all right so beautiful so now what we, we have to go ahead let's just close all this tab all right so just close all cool so now in this my php folder let's create a new folder called to do okay, okay that is not the folder again sorry we have to create the folder yet not in that place so i think i have to okay this is not working uh, okay so i have to create a new folder there called to do nice so now we have our folder called to do so let's just navigate to that place so that is going to be local host slash to do okay so it's not interesting in my php slash sorry i forgot about that to do all right cool so we have an empty folder so let's go ahead and create let's close this go ahead and create a new file called index.php good now we are gonna just random html code then this is gonna be to do list so we are gonna first thing we are gonna do is just set up our page set up our page using code igniter sorry so let's just use ma I, I said set up using code sorry we are gonna set up our page using bootstrap i mean so let's go ahead and and get the bootstrap signal so we are gonna be using bootstrap 5 here so it doesn't actually matter but we are gonna be using bootstrap 5 here all right so let's wait for that to load up right so just head over to the getting started then it's just the download okay so we are going to be needing the css okay so this is it here. so the css we are going to be needing this so let's just add this over here all right to confirm if it is working let's refresh take a look at this menu here refresh you can see the font has changed right so that is working so the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and give this a container so we're going to give this a container so the container we have to give it a row so i'm giving this a row then a row of colon all right good so we have this so inside this let's give it an input field so the input field we have a form control so the name will be facts so let's just give it that so we want that to come back here again so down here again let's create another d or colon which will serve as the button this is going to be button sorry then submit so we are going to select the submit type submit then the class of sorry btn dot btn primary sorry spare primary wrong here so it's gonna be primary and let's be add so let's take a look at this and see what happens all right so we have this already beautiful so we need some padding now so let's do padding top should be four all right nice okay so we are moving but let's try and see if i can center this i'm not very good at front end but i think i can do this so let's refresh okay so that didn't work that's a very very bad idea uh okay let's just cut this out of here sorry so let's cut this let's create a div and see if this works center so let's place everything inside this place save and refresh okay it's still the same thing so we don't need the text center we just have to normally do that so this thing is focusing on php the most and not actually focusing on the front end itself so so now we've done the post section already so we are missing something right here what is uh 
right before, before here we have to add a form so the form tag allows us to process anything so we have to put in the form the method method is going to be post good now we have to close the form right here all right so let's go ahead and test that okay you can see the form has now make it come below i think it's okay like that so let me just give this a parent top of three all right so it's, I, I, it's okay like this so a placeholder should be fax all right good so we have this done already so we can just you know go ahead down below here let's add a, a h out tag all right so adding that uh, we need to give it a div the padding top to padding top of 3 all right good so now let's go back to this place and search for list so i told you i'm not very good at this so we have to look for the list okay so we have list in this place um okay let's use this so down below here let's just paste this in to check all right so we have this beautiful so okay um Okay, why is this a button instead of a D? I think we should make it this it A out tag. It's better like that so we can click on it to edit. Okay. Alright, so this is better like this. Okay, so let's just go ahead and change this place to tax list. All right, good. So we are done with the front end now. Well, we are not actually done. So I'm just going to use one for the sample. So right in between here, let's just add this. Then let's do an eight equals to. So this is going to be empty for now. Let's close this to. Then we can now come here and do delete. So we have to delete our tax to. All right. So this is it. Eh? So before that, let's do um, let's give a class of text primary. Okay, so that is no, is is a delete button. So I think a danger would be better. Text danger. All right, so that is good. So we've set up our front end. Let's check the mobile view. If we see this in minds. Okay, so this is nice. Good. So now let's go ahead and create our database system. So let's go to the PHP my admin. All right, so we are gonna wait for that to load up. So I'm just gonna wait for that to load. Okay, now it is loading. So just go ahead and hit on this new and then set this to, to do. Then click on create code. So the first thing we need to do, we only need just one table in this case, and that table is going to be tax. And just two color. We only need just to use, use color the ID and the tax. All right. So let's go ahead and click go. All right. So we have to do ID. Then you can go ahead and pass in value name table. So it's not anymore. So next thing to do is just. Uh, I think I think I saw it now, but okay. There's a place here. There's a place here. If your screen is larger, it is auto increment. So if you have to auto increment it, then this place is gonna be tax. So I'm gonna be voucher. I voucher asset text. So let's go ahead and click save. Now good. So we have our database so set up and our front end set up. So time for us to start coding all right so just stay tuned and make sure you head to the next section all right beautiful now we've set up everything now let's get coding into php all right beautiful so 
before we go ahead and do that let's come over to this to do app and create a new folder this folder is going to be called server so that server is where we are going to run put all our codes all our server codes so create a new file it's going to be called db.php so this will under our database so now let's connect our php to the database so as usual make sure you have your open tag here once that is done let's create a variable called server so our server is always the local host then username equals to root and if you are just installing this the password for your exam for your php admin is always empty in case you've added any password just write down add it here and our database name is is um this is tax tax i called it okay tax sorry okay to do sorry it is to do all right good now to connect we have to create a new variable called connect equals to the new my sql so you can see parameter host name is username the password and database so let's just go ahead and pass in the two variables server as first username second password as third and the database name as first so now we have to validate if this is working so if that connection run run into something called connect error so if we should run into something called connect error we need it to just die so that we kill the server and let's just pass in the connect underscore error good so we've done this so let's test this out go back to the to do list so you're not gonna see what it does here so slash so let's do db.php uh okay sorry it's in server server slash db.php now you can see on the variable server uh okay sorry i spelled this one so it is server All right now you can see there's no error because it is working well what if i now change this to that tax you can see my sql is control unknown database called tax you understand so that is how we connect to database so now we are not supposed to be heading over to this place to check we're supposed to be able to check on this place so to do that go back to the index page okay we, you know we are, we are going to move to that later but let's just go down to this place now in the server create new file let's just close this we don't need that again create new file called let's name this uh process dot php good now as usual open your php tag then in here we are now gonna include the db.php file so the menu i've included is that it allows us to call a particular file into another file all right so now what i was trying to do that time is include the db but can you ask i want to have included it in the process file they can also include it in the um in the index so you can go ahead and do include so you can have process okay not sorry not process then you can have server slash process dot php all right so let's save this refresh now you can see no error everything is working so to confirm let's just go ahead and mess with this so it backs refresh you can see we have an error here so control Z go back also this fresh now you can see everything is working fine good so since that is fixed already let's go ahead and start working now the first thing to do is check if our request being sent from the index page is a host network so to do that all we have to do is go ahead and do if it's set so it's set is just to check the request method so if it is set is that isn't only used to check the request method you can use to check many things but we are using to check the post method here so if request is post so the post before we can check the post we need to give our button a name so we are checking if that name is actually being clicked on so name equals to add so we are checking if it's actually being clicked on so add so 
let's go ahead and do echo hit and let's what will happen i go ahead and refresh this and i uh go ahead and click on this ad you can see we have clicked because we've clicked on the button beautiful so now i'm just gonna undo this now we want to make some validation we don't want them to be able to pass an enter string into this so to, to do that we have to just do let's first and um, grab the database uh, sorry the input from the user so to do that we just have to just pass in uh create a new variable called tax so that's the that's the word we're getting from there and do my sqli real string real, real escape string so we're gonna pass in the post i remember the name i told you about which is tax so we're just gonna use that then this is gonna collect the connection all right you can see so what it does is it takes in it takes you know the request and you know, process it from um, it makes it escape the string so for validation purpose and this has given us an error saying um, expected type string found my SQLite okay so let's go ahead and just cut this and um, let's move this to this place and let's place this here all right so we got our mixed up so now we can go ahead and just echo facts refresh so let's refresh this no and so let's put this again so i go ahead and put in hello now you should be having hello how are you you should be having how are you so now you are making progress good let's go ahead and delete this now i want to check if it is empty so we go ahead and do if empty so we have an empty method there so if empty tag so that empty is part of php so it is not something we created like that so let's just add the comment here so that is going to be checking empty all right good so the comments are eligible so you will know what you wrote in the, in the past and know what you're going to edit in the future so if the tag is empty let's just you know echo fax field is required all right good so let's just add now you can see we have tax field is required but this is not supposed to be here so let's try something crazy so i have over here we are going to create a new variable called tax underscore error equals to an empty string so since that is empty we're just going to pass in that tax underscore error should be equals to tax field is required good so we need a semicolon up here all right nice so we can now go down here or we can go ahead and do so i'm using the shorthand so we need short hand so that is going to be tax error so we have short hand the php so that's how we use short hand the php tax error so let's refresh this now you can see the tax field is required but this is not beautiful like this let's make it red i'll go ahead and cut this and do a span of text danger all right this is here reload now you can see the tax field is required so check we finished our validation system now let's move ahead to the let's move ahead to the um, inserting of data to the database good now since this is done now let's do insert data all right so next session we are going to be looking at how to insert data into our database all right beautiful so now we are going to learn how to insert data the reason i'm cutting this video is because of the distraction around me so it won't happen to the video so it's exactly so now let's just go back there now to inside that uh, all we need to do is just we have to create a new variable called smtp SMT, uh, stmt you can name it anything you want your constant so we are using prepare prepare statements here 
could this allow us to execute our code safely from SQL injection so that it won't be hackable, right? Hope you understand that you don't have you can just like, go to Google and just search for it. It's just normal random thing. Alright, good. So we have to call the connection variable. And we have to prepare a statement. Alright. So to insert that into that um, therapy, we have to do something called insert into now the table name. What's our table name? Our table name is what tax. Insert into tax. We go ahead and put value. What are you inserting to tax? So this place we are just gonna put a question mark. So this is how the prepare segment works. You don't have to pass in anything in. It, 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 we use most of the time for prevention sake like mesoid earlier for mesoid injection. So let's just go ahead and do then we have to just go ahead and do STNT. Then now we cannot bind the param here. So it will be saver here. So S is representing a string. Then our variable which is tax. Good. You can see because I'm having just one question mark here, that's why I'm having one less and this thing. If I'm having three here, it's gonna be three here, it's gonna be three here. Alright, good. So next we don't have to do is just do S S A uh, S T M T then we have to execute it. Alright, so that is as simple as ABC. We just written a code that inserts for a uh, data into our database. So let's test it out. So yeah, I'm just gonna request this. So first tax is learn PHP. Let's add. So we have on call is called to a member the member function by program or board. Alright, so we have that on 920. So in time insert into okay. So this I resolve just telling us that on cut error, call to member function bind params on both. So it's giving us a warning that what we are trying to pass in is not actually passing in. So this is a regular error there. So I miss something. So we are gonna just fix that right now. So let's go back to our code editor. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Um okay. Now this is a regular thing. I missed the stuff like this in this place so you just have to require and do that here so select the field we want to populate with our data so let's just go back to the place and you can see the field here is uh what is it to do uh okay that is bad this one case i think i have deleted this by mistake okay so just hold on let me create this is up this id of the increment then we have tags watcher of 2 to 5. So save this. Now you can see we are populating the tax field. Don't don't forget that this one is between two So we don't need to populate this, but we have to populate this. So we have to just specify the tax and save. So now let's come back here, refresh, then putting back link page to add. You can see it went through, but did it actually go through? So let's check. Click on browse now. You can see we have it here. Then PHP. Okay, so that works as fine. Um, I don't know why why this thing is stressed like this. So I'm trying to figure out why. Anyway, let's just leave that. So now that is working. Let's add another one. Then Bootstrap. Sorry. Strap. All right, so go. So that is working amazing. So now we need to make sure we know that okay, what we started is actually working. So how do we do that? So let's come here and let's create a new variable called sources underscore msg equals this then. Let's go ahead and add in um, error and as for MSG in case we encounter, uh, encounter any error during the process. So let's save this. Then now we can just go ahead and do this. Then, if this is actually successful, I want the success message 
should be equals to tax added then else we need the error message I'm sorry the error message should be equals to error adding tax all right brilliant so we need the semicolon you don't forget all right good so as usual we just have to uh, let's add it right here so this is gonna be deep dot it's gonna be a container sorry not a container I mean. it's gonna be a um, alert alert and um, success this is ccts all right let's check this like right, i see we have this grid we don't want this to appear every time so i think you can do something like sorry you can go ahead and do php e for so if that success message is actually passed in so we need it to show that so just right here just gonna do end if so to end this let's try it out all right so it's not working so we've not passed the success message so let's just go ahead and pass in the success message here message is here all right bring on so let's go ahead and add um, validation in php add and you can see we have tax added amazing i'm pretty sure you are proud of yourself so let's just validate the error message we are not gonna cut any error here but let's just do it so let's just go down there do the error message it's gonna be danger all right so we fixed that already now the next we are going to be looking at the next session is now it's asking our data into these places of the dummy data so this place here is gonna be our data all right so let's check that okay beautiful people let's go diving into fetching us up on our database all right so right after we have the tax mix here so we're just gonna Open the tag here so php then what we have to do is just you know we have the server included already so it has it's included the database for us so let's go ahead and use our prepare statement again smtp equals to um the right and do connection then prepare to select all so this is used to indicate all in every case is all from from where from tax is there a s in our tax okay yes from tax all right beautiful so we've done that already so next thing to just execute this smt we are not binding anything to it because we didn't pass in any value like let's talk from id where the value goes to we are not doing that so we just have to execute this as it is this then once that is done we need smt to get our results to get results all right so let's just close that so to confirm let's check if we get any error in this place so let's do this all right no error then let's try something nice let's print this out I see what's going to Print underscore how Okay, so we have my SL object So field count is 2 Number road is 3 So let's replace this You can see we have number road is 3 And field count is 2 Alright, so we are getting this So back okay good so let's go this just let's put an empty array in this place so we are going to be working with this of that array the next thing to have to do is just passing while the creative variable called row while row equals to smtp fetch 
Okay, before we go, go to that, hold on, let's just come over here and let's pass this to result because so, so we have to do where is equals to sorry result the fetch association right so we can just go ahead and pass in that rule to the data so what we did here is just um okay sorry Right, so what we did here is just we loop through it then we pass it into an array so because normally if you actually do this like this and we render it in this place it's gonna make our code a little bit clumsy and we don't want that right so let's refresh this see if there's any error okay so there's error here okay yeah this we don't need it good no error now to render this all we have to do is just come right here and let's do php Remember the for each we did for each that is for each um, data as row. So once we you do some normal PHP templating here, so our code doesn't get scattered. We don't need all right down here. We just have to do PHP end for each. So we have to end up for each so Let's do this and see if this happens. We can see now we have three x there. We have um, extra extra stuff on from database theory. So basically, if I should go ahead and delete this, so we should be having the theory rules in our database. Good. Uh, I think we don't need this. Seems weird. Right. Good. So let's render the data itself. So this is going to just be. So I'm using the shorthand again. It's going to be row, then passing tax. Remember, tax is the name of our row, of our um, column here, sorry, tax. So let's refresh this. Now you can see we have name PHP, name bootstrap, and then validation in PHP. But there's something off, off, okay, there's not, okay, there's not something off in this. Let's try something. Let's do hello. So you can see our hello gets added to the last part. Meanwhile, it's supposed to be at the top. So I think we can just go ahead to our query and do letter from tax. Then we have something we call order. Uh, yes. Sorry, order by. So we want to order it by ID. Then um, descending. So that is descending is for like where's the biggest? I think biggest is smallest. Yes, biggest is smallest. So let's refresh. Now you can see descending is from the biggest to the smallest. Now this is coming up first. If I go ahead, HTML, add, you can see we have HTML here. Beautiful. Now we are done with the first phase. Now the second phase we want to learn now is delete this from the database. So to do that, we have to pass in the URL. I say we are going to get back to. So that is going to be um, delete slash. Sorry, that's going to be delete.php. You say I'm using dev equals to then just have to learn how to do this. It's, it seems weird, but it's worth trying. You refresh this now. You can see, check on that here. We have dev.php under this place. Okay, it's not working. Okay, id. So let's refresh this. Now you can see we have ID5 ID, so we are also missing another thing. It's going to be question my ID, sorry, question my ID equals to that. So we need to get our ID for it. Beautiful. So we are done with that. So next session, we are going to be looking at how to delete these tags from our database. Okay, now, like I said, we are going to be working with the delete. So in this place, so in the to do place, let's go ahead and create a new file called delete.php. So I'm going to create a file called delete.php. Right? So let's go ahead and delete.php. The name we named it in that place. 
all right so if we should go back there and refresh this and click on this we should not be getting a phone call because we have the delete page already so next we have to do is just hit php as usual then make sure you include the server file so the server slash server sorry slash um, mm, no we don't need the process so let's use a db.php instead all right good so now since that is there so we have to go ahead and do another smtp again then stmt I mean. then do connection repair we are going to add a query which is going to select all from packs now where that id equals to question mark like i told you earlier then down below and i think you know what they're gonna do so we are going to bind params then it's going to s then let's bind in our id so now guess what we don't have our id yet yet so i'm just gonna delete cut it don't delete actually so let's do id equals to get id then down here let's just echo the id and see what we get refresh right so we get five that was that is the id delete we have four you can see we have two so basically this route is a get route so we have to just if we're able to process our information we need to use the get to get our id and process our stuff so let's paste this back home all right so this will work now so Run, normally we are not supposed to be selected, we are supposed to be deleted. So I think I, I made a mistake in that case. So let's go back and do st mt equals to connection repair. Then we're gonna do delete delete uh, this delete the text from parts where id equals to this all right good so first to make colon here so down here we just have to go down here and do um, as usual stmt then let's execute this and see if this will work all right good so now let's just hit this now cause you remember on um, board all right so we are missing something on our query oh i have seen it already uh okay yeah we are missing this so it's supposed to be delete from tax where the id is equals to that all right so that's a little bit easy that's some silly mistake right there so let's just press this Right, and so we are having this thing so let's reverse this again you can see i have nothing in string so let's reload now you can see we are we don't have the four again so let's confirm this by going to the to do you can see it's already four let's delete this let's go back there refresh you can see it's already three so our deleting is working so we need um to redirect our user bar so he or she can know it has been deleted so you can do if this is a success so you can go ahead and do add the location should be index.php all right cool so you press this let's delete this now you can see it's coming back here delete this delete this already let's just add him back there added 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 all right so we have these three tags we are gonna next thing we are gonna be doing now is the edit so to make use of the edit let's go to the index page let's add another section for the edit so let's gonna copy this to this place copy and let's pass in this and this so save and let's check that out no sorry okay so we have this 
Now, there's one thing I want us to fix. Look at this. If I should put in the bootstrap, see, the first, we have this again. So if I should click on continue, you can notice it saved it. You can see, it saved an empty stock because we, we, we keep repeating the same request. So we have to fix that. So let me delete that. Let me delete that. Alright, so I deleted it that we have to. So to do that, just have to make sure once this is done, add uh, then the same location should be the index.php. Alright, so let's refresh this and add. So you can see we have that. So if I refresh, it doesn't work like that anymore. Alright, good. So Let's remove this and just add only that. Then we we'll, we need it. Then it's gonna be edit. No. Um. Let's try something else. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the edit to PHP. This is gonna be text um, info. Let's use info. Then it's gonna be edit. So let's refresh now. You can see we have the edit page. Four four. So let's go ahead and create it. edit.php so let's refresh this all right so the error is done so next we need to do is just go ahead and start our php then we have to include our database by server slash db.php we save that then next thing we have to do is person smt first to okay before we do that don't forget we need to get the id so the id Equals to equals to get get raising the ID. Now I'll, I'll point out the issue very soon. So just hold on. We have to just do connection. Then prepare this. We're gonna be selecting all from start yeah the id is equals to that uh, beautiful so let's just do this as usual smt then bind the times we want the s then our our id so let's just do smt execute All right, good. So let's refresh this. We have nothing. Then I can just go ahead and do SMT. I'm sorry. Point SMT get the results. So you can see we have this, so we have field count of two and numbers of what we want. We are selecting just one, so just come this. Now, yeah, I forgot we have to just cut this out. Let's take a let's delete this. Um, open up your notepad and let's save this here. Good, so since that is that, so let's just go ahead and wait a minute, page. Let me edit. Oh wait, what am I even doing? So let's copy everything in this place and paste it here. So we don't need hmm, we don't need this. We don't need that. We need to change this to edit. Edit then start okay. Okay, edit. Just, I'm oh sorry, just remove this. All right, so we have this right here. So, what we have to do is just go ahead and come right here. Sorry, yes. So, what we have there, we don't need to include this again. So, we just need to make this cut and go ahead and close this. The right here you can do PHP 
and then freeze this here. Don't forget to close your PHP. All right, beautiful. So, so after executing this, we have to just make this um, a result equals to this. Then the same way we do is with that dash should be equals to this. We're gonna do y rule equals to result fetch association then data array should be equals to the row alright let's say there's any error alright so fetch I saw combo alright so I think there's something on this place let's go back to this place so let's go to the index page and take a look at this if we have fetch or so alright um, okay yeah so I've seen the mistake here let's cut this and let's go in and do result equals to stmp then get underscore results I think it's results right okay, results let's result then a semicolon and save let's refresh all right no error then you can go ahead and come here right here you can do value equals to equals to um, row which is tax all right so let's refresh okay we're having an error we see you trying to access area of me okay blah 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 we can just go ahead and do mm -hmm. okay so let's do it here so php for each let's show the form if our id is actually got it so for each data as row so we want to show this and for each okay good so let's replace this now you can see you have no bootstrap so the evaluation I want to make again is just this again so php if the if the data variable is empty Then let's go ahead and do the alert dot alert iPhone info on my information saying H3 sorry no tax found. So we are also going to do this for the content for the index page also the PHP and if alright. But no, 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 if you so let's do PHP else so you can understand this better than right here. We can end our if here, all right. Beautiful. So let's refresh this. So good. If I should put this with 33 now, and you can see you have no tax found back to 11, so you have this ready. Beautiful. So, like I said, now we're not going to process this so. <laughs> so let's go to our process file down below there will be if is set so we are gonna be checking on that button again and remember the name of the button there is is um edit so we will be needing 80% of this code so let's just copy this okay Let's paste this here. Okay, so let's try this out. Um, we're supposed to be getting the error message here. Tax error. The 
this to edit. Oh, sorry. This is, this is empty. Okay, you know what? Let's first try something else. I think there's a problem with this. Thing. Let's do echo. Let us echo the parts first. So, let us echo this. Okay, I, I thought I'm not. So, basically, I think what is going on here is because we are looking through something like this. And that isn't right. So, let's just cut this. Alright, uh, let's just put this here. Okay, let's refresh this and see what will happen. Alright, so you see how we are just you know, passing that and ending it, but we can still access it in this place. Let's try and edit this. Okay, it seems that I know the problem also. Let's just undo, undo. Okay. Okay, so I found out my mistake was actually from that place. No, not this place. Let's just cut this away. So we are returning inside our reset for the save. So we are not doing that outside that. Okay, good. So let's just head over back there. Refresh. I click edit. Okay. Alright, I see. So this is working. Good. So let's go back there and just do some queries so as usual update so let's go and do st equals to connection repair so we're gonna do update so I'm selecting tax then set tax equals to question mark where hmm, ID equals to this. Alright, good. So we need to pass in the ID also. So we are not passing the ID. So let's just go back there and let's do an input text of ID. So this means that the ID then value will be the row then ID. Alright, so let's go back to the place. Let's just reload and do control U. So you can see we have value of 11, so we need to get out to ID. Okay. So let's just go back there and get out to this page. I see ID equals to post ID. Alright, good. So now we have to just find our params. We have to bind right so SS so that is two one is for um so one is for the tax and the other is for <laughs> sorry it's for ID so that way to do is just right on you can just copy this to the very well. Okay. So tax this will be updated. This will be error updating tax. Alright, so let's try this out. Refresh. Then bootstrap edited. Edit. And you can see we are edited already. So this is working as planned. Alright, so this is working as well. Okay, so let's. I think that is all we need to do. We actually don't need this. We actually don't need this. Out. So we just need to do that. Alright, good. So you can go ahead and edit this to. Now, there's something I will tell you about. So, now, SQL injection, super SQL injection, I can go ahead and just add a colon here. 
and hit enter then basically if you don't use ST stmt we're gonna get a query error which will be very 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 useful for the hacker to penetrate as well that I've used. I've done it before I know what I'm saying so that's why we need that alright good so the last thing I say we're gonna do is this place so we're just gonna delete everything alright so this is empty then in the index page so you're gonna check this also let's just copy it from this place so it's okay So let's just paste this here. That was okay. Then down here we just have to do PHP ND. Save now. We should do now because they have no tax found all right basically this tutorial was very very useful to me it was simple straightforward i took my time to explain everything and hopefully you like it please don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thanks and see you next time bye